right, we are all about original reporting here, and in today's original in-depth reporting on a topic we've been keeping an eye on, we've been talking about inflation, of course, and how it's affecting families' bottom line across the country. But for many, their wages are not keeping up with the rising costs of everyday necessities, everything. But some folks are taking advantage of remote schedules to increase the amount that they bring in. And we're not talking about raises. Instead, they're working, working multiple jobs. It's called being overemployed. NBC's Issa Gutierrez has more. The recent rise in remote work is arguably one of the largest business culture shifts since the advent of the five-day work week in 1932. According to a June McKinsey survey, there's now an estimated 29 million Americans opting to work remote five days a week. And some savvy remote workers are using the time they save commuting to get hired for more than one full-time job. They call themselves overemployed. My gross between all the companies, it kind of varies based on bonuses, but it's approximately 1.5 million depending on the year. So I figured the more jobs I had, the closer I would get to retirement. Tyler, who asked us to use an alias and alter his voice, says he's been overemployed for nearly a decade. He first started with just two jobs. One company was remote, so I would have to go to like the bathroom whenever I wanted to take a call for one company, but just over time it you know, I ended up making it work. Then came the pandemic and a shift to remote work culture. The companies I was working for, they were pretty happy with my work. So I just kind of kept adding more and more jobs over time until I got to 11. Tyler shared 11 of his most recent pay stubs with NBC News for 11 separate full-time jobs. And we can confirm that each company is real. The companies he works for are based across 10 different states. I have a laptop for each company and three main monitors that I use. If you're not good at stress, then definitely you do not want to be overemployed because it can be very, very stressful. Overemployment has only recently come under the spotlight, but the idea isn't entirely new. This is the biggest open secret out there. Isaac, who altered his voice for this interview to conceal his identity, runs overemployed.com. It's a website that gives tips on how to juggle more than one job concurrently. He says the movement has been happening in the tech sector for years and goes back even beyond that. The whole industrial military complex built in this norms of working one job long before then. It wasn't just one job. Uh, when you were farming or being uh, doing carpentry, people were doing multiple jobs, surviving, basically. That's the basis of the website and why it was created was basically give other people the permission and the okay to, to pursue life, liberty, and happiness for themselves. For most workers, this is perfectly legal. It would depend on the worker's contract. Aaron Hatton is a sociology professor at the University of Buffalo that focuses on labor market and movements. Most employees work at will, which means that their employer can fire them for any reason at all, any time at all, except for a few legally protected reasons. But if you're a great worker and they find out you're working for another employer and they don't like it, they can let you go today. This is just one of the hurdles overemployed people face. The biggest slip up that I've had is basically I'll forget to mute one job when I am on a meeting with multiple companies. But as work culture continues to evolve, for some, the idea of going back to their normal nine to five is out of the question. So I would quit every job before I go back to an office. The only thing that they should really care about is, are you doing your work? As long as you're productive, I think that's you know, what matters the most. Isa Gutierrez, NBC News.